Back before cable TV, when there was just three major networks, watched old movies they would throw at you on late night shows. One chap that I enjoyed very much was Richard Green. This fellow was a hit both in his homeland, Britain, and also across the Atlantic in the USA. In England, it was after World War II, so we made a lot of spy movies. Sorry to spoil your fun. I've got another job for you. Very important. You're leaving for Canada tomorrow night. You know, if Bond films were made back in the 30s, he'd be the perfect 007. She's dead. Of course, I made no mistake about that. Cut! Get up and get over there. Put your hands up. You too. Put them up. Hello. Hello. Monitor. Monitor, flash this line. Right. Urgent. This is Lieutenant Commander Garrick. Naval Intelligence. Verify headquarters. Message. Call RCMP. Not you, Mama, sit down. Tell RCMP, full steam ahead, Chateau Brochet. Brochet. Brochet? Yeah, I got it. You're holding Madame Orlock and the phony captain. Yes, yes, I got it. Send doctor, ambulance. If this message is understood, flash again. Right. Now, you sons of fritzes. In America, he was cast in several period dramas. I've done everything I could to fight the Dunes, Your Majesty. They killed my father. They've bled us with taxes and terrorized our people. If I have the luck to return, I'll fight them again. This young man's hatred for the Dunes seems to match our own. Very successful, he worked with everybody from Basil Rathbone in the first Sherlock Holmes series to Shirley Temple. How dare you risk the reputation of my school in this manner? Nothing's happened that damages your precious school's reputation. As a matter of fact, Miss Rose and I... Jeffrey. To but, Boris uh, Karloff. I'm on my way home to you England. think I'm trying to trick you? That's the first sensible thing you've said. Now, if you'll excuse me. For a while, he was even competition for Hollywood royalty, handsome Tyrone Power. Unfortunately, he never rose to superstar status. But as we age, get older, and the studio system was fading away, he found success in an early British-made TV series. Of course, we're talking about The Adventures of Robin Hood. Robin Hood, Robin Hood, riding through the glen. Because it's British made, it has good actors and above production value. So it's true what they say about you, that you have the heart of a dove, the spirit of an eagle, and the face of a barn owl. But we know age is our enemy, therefore, as he got older, as an actor, he was forced into taking films of lesser value. Such is the case with the Christopher Lee series of Fu Manchu, strictly potboiler stuff. Alan Smith. You will destroy him with a kiss of death. You understand. Fu Manchu is getting close to us. I must see Nayland Smith. Good evening, madam. I'm Nayland Smith. Can I help you? There's an old Inca legend that some priestesses were immunized to the poison of the black cobra. They let themselves be bitten by the snakes and then were sent out to kiss certain chosen victims. Somehow the poison was transmitted and after a few days the victim died. So when you're perusing your film library on television, cable, whatever, if you should come across the old Robin Hood series, it might be worth a look. You show a certain amount of promise, Giles Black. But you take too long of your aim. Now, if that target down there were a deer, and I spent 20 seconds aiming the way you do, my quarry might move to cover and I'd lose the shot. He's afraid to lose his shaft. He knows he's beaten. You have to learn to launch your arrow swiftly, all in one motion, like this. Oh. 
So a hearty farewell to an almost great actor in terms of star power, Richard Green. This is Mike Stewart. Feared by the bad, loved by the good,